Yo, YouTube. Sup? Today I watched uh, Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And when I gotta tell you, this is one of the worst Marvel MCU movies. This is one of the worst MCU movies ever. Holy crap, this was disappointing as heck. All right. The performances weren't bad. You know, Paul Rudd did great. Whoever played the villain did great. All right. I mean, whoever played the daughter was annoying. But, uh, you know, the performances weren't bad from all the other characters. Surprise guest, uh, Bill Murray, was it it? For like a quick few minutes or so. Um, I'm just going to break down the good stuff from very, very small amount of good stuff about this movie. Um, I mean, again, you know, CGI filled action, pretty good, pretty good. Um, that's pretty much it. So then the, the movie tried to be funny, but it wasn't funny. Like, there were a lot of stuff where I knew it was supposed to be a joke, but it just wasn't funny. The writing was bad. The pacing was a little out of hand. Um, gosh, some of the uh, acting and, like, dialogue was messed up. Just not good. Um, it was just weird. The story was just nonsense. They try to make things seem sense by, like, explaining them. But, like, still, it was just, what the fudge? Um... Yeah, it, it takes place in the uh, the quantum realm, of course. It just looks so weird. And it reminds me of Star Wars in a way. There's like all these like weird alien looking creatures and all that. The bad guy is kind of like Darth Vader. He wants to like conquer the, the whole, just everything. He wants to conquer everything. He's a conqueror. Kang the Conqueror. He sort of has like the force. He can just like pin people to the walls and stuff. Uh... He was a pretty cool villain. I wouldn't say he was anything special, but he was a pretty cool villain. I mean, the acting was good for that guy. Um, probably the best part was the villain, who was still pretty decent. Um, what else? What else? Again, it's still it felt like a Star Wars copy, but like not as good. But it, there was a lot of stuff. What I saw was like, that's definitely influenced by Star Wars in some capacity. You know, the final fight, just all of it, you could definitely tell that some of this was inspired by Star Wars in a way. But not really, sort of its own thing, but not entirely. Um, Modoc or Murdoch, however you pronounce him. That guy, just like this big head with tiny arms and legs was in this, but... The CGI on that looked so bad. It was so goofy. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's laughable of how bad it looks. <laughs> and try to make jokes. It's, it's not that funny. It's pretty dumb, childish humor in some ways. Um, that's pretty much it. It's just... And it's really boring. It's very long as well. Like two and a half hours. D d painfully long. Like. For like. The final 30 minutes. I was like dying bro. I couldn't take it anymore. I was like what the heck is this movie. Alright. But it wasn't all too terrible. There were some good parts. There were some enjoyable parts to this. There were some good laughable parts. Alright, so I'll give credit where credit is due. But, like, a majority of the film was just, eh, whatever, to just disappointing. I give this movie a good solid 6 out of 10. Um, yeah, and man, in the Wasp, Quantum Media, just a disappointment. Um, yeah, peace.